Some details on the final section is the sound by fat. Some forms will do it three times, but only do it one time because actually don't use it that much. But when you do use it, the purpose is that let's say somebody hit you in the back of the head, you fall forward, somebody push you, you fall forward, or you trip on something, or something happened that made you and get into this position. Now how do you get back up? Okay? You want to protect your head first because you don't know what is up there. Maybe there's somebody with their arms up there, somebody ready to punch you uh, while you're in this position. So what you do is you want to swing it up your arms in a triangle so you'll be able to deflect whatever is up there. You don't know what's up there. So swing your arms to deflect and then come back into a ready position. Okay? So one more time, we're dropping down. Okay? So imagine if somebody push you, you drop down, and you want to get back up, okay? So swing that up in a triangle fashion while protecting your head. You don't want to get your head first because you might hit somebody, somebody might have a bat or something like that, so what do you do? You're going to put your hands up and then fall up with the head. And then come back to your ready position. All right, some, some hit from, from here. Uh, some people will do one, two, three. Some people will do four, one, two, three, four, which is what I do. Some people will do five, two, three, four, five. Doesn't really matter. As long as you do one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter, okay? So as long as you do more than three, it's good enough. You can do a hundred if you want. So from here, we can go one, two, three, four, four, what did I do? I do four, right? So I do one, two, three, four, something like that, okay? So what you do is with the chain punches, you want to be replacing fist with each other. Okay, from the side, it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so use the pulling back of one fist to power the other one. Use the pulling back of one fist to power the other one. How you train this to get a good technique is to actually do it slowly and slide it on each other. Slide the arms together so that you'll have more of a tighter punch. Okay? Eventually, when you're going fast, you don't want to be sliding because you're going to hit yourself. But for now, when you do it slowly for training, we're going to slide. Okay? Now, there's people that say you should do this, or do this, or do this with your wrist. Don't worry about it. Just go straight up. Okay? Now, if you're fast, it's going to be in a circle, but that's okay. It gives you speed. Okay, but in training, we're going to do a little slide in that speed. Okay, so in our form, we're going to go one, two, three, four, pull it back, and then open like that. So that's some details of the straight punch.